Each night here on All Star Live, Fox Sports North will present an All Star Military Salute. We honor local military All Stars in partnership with the Minnesota National Guard. Those interviews and features run through July 14th. Fox Sports North was granted special access to a few National Guard sites around the state. We'll be highlighting one each day tonight. We feature the 133rd Airlift Wing. We have a two-part mission, one to fulfill needs of the state and one to fulfill the needs of the nation. We're continuing to train uh, airmen to respond to either the nation's needs or the state needs. Every day there's, you know, local flying training missions going on to keep the air crews proficient, training missions to keep the air medical evacuation squadron, uh, flight nurses and med techs proficient in their mission, and all of that requires continuous aircraft maintenance, you know, uh, building maintenance, almost like a small industrial city in itself. We have eight C-130 aircraft that provide airlift support for the big Air Force. And what that entails really for us is a multiple part mission. We can fly cargo from point A to point B via normal takeoff and landing type uh, loading and unloading of the aircraft. Altitude, altitude. We also have an airdrop mission that allows us to load up cargo or troops, fly over a geographical location, and have that stuff exit the aircraft airborne. Hitler. Red light, left turn. In Afghanistan, in the winter months, high altitude in the mountains, the roads become impassable, so that airdrop allows us to resupply them with, you know, ammunition, food, supplies, that type of stuff. And our third mission is also their medical evacuation mission, where we can configure the back of the airplane into essentially a flying hospital and provide patient care to get them from forward locations while they're wounded back to, you know, larger bases where they can be uh, flown back to the United States. We maintain a readiness uh, year-round, so we're always ready to respond, but once we get an official tasking, we usually ramp up the training, and once we know where we're going, we'll start to tailor that training specifically for the location and the exact types of missions that we'll be doing overseas. And we are honored to be joined in studio tonight by Colonel Jim Johnson, the commander of the 133rd Airlift Wing, which is based in Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. Uh, uh, Colonel has a, a distinguished record uh, of service to our country, uh, in, including service in Iraq. It's so great to have you with us tonight. Tell us more about uh, what it is like to command this group. And uh, I know that uh, it, it's serious work, but they do some tremendous work. Uh, sure. Uh, our wing, uh, actually, our main mission is to pr provide uh, tactical airlift uh, to the uh, theater. And what that means is uh, uh, we uh, transport cargo, uh, personnel, and patients uh, to basically anywhere in the world uh, to include very austere uh, uh, drop zones or landing strips. How many airmen have you uh, deployed today? And, and what are they doing? What is their job? Well, right now we have about uh, 130 uh, airmen deployed. Uh, a large portion of that is part of our aviation package, and that's uh, the air crew and the maintainers that, uh, that maintain those airplanes. Uh, and they're, they're deployed over into the Persian Gulf area, and they're uh, doing some of that uh, transportation of the equipment and, and personnel in that region. We also have a group of security forces in that same region, and, and they primarily are, are charged with uh, pr protecting the base and the aviation assets, the airplanes that are at that base. And then we have a, a third group uh, deployed over in Croatia, and that's actually part of a, uh, our partnership uh, for peace, a state partnership program that we have uh, with that country. And there's some civil engineers, and what they're doing is they're uh, rebuilding a school and, and, and uh, uh, w working with the local Croatian folks uh, to rebuild that school. And I've, I've talked with a few of those members uh, that are doing that, and it's such a rewarding mission uh, that they're just tickled to be part of that. It really is a wide variety of missions that you're involved with. Obviously, we know here in Minnesota when there are issues, when there is trouble, the National Guard is counted on in our state. But uh, to hear the scope of things is certainly impressive. Thank you, Tom. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, your pride, because uh, you have said commanding this airlift wing is is one of the highlights of your career. It certainly is. Um, the the construct of the National Guard is comprised mostly of what we call traditional guardsmen. Um, the 
the the symbol for the National Guard is a Minuteman, and what that represents is uh, they're people that are, are regular citizens. They're they're working or they're students or, or they're doing other things around home, and they're ready to answer the call of the nation or the state or the community on a moment's notice and and and, and drop what they're doing and and and. Uh, come and, and serve the country or the community. Colonel Johnson is a hunter, a fisherman, an avid sportsman in Minnesota, and I'm hoping a fan of the Minnesota Twins. Do you have any special memories of the <laughs> Twins? Oh, well, it's it's certainly uh, hard to uh, not talk about the uh, 87 and 91 World Series. I, I happened to be stationed uh, uh, out of state at the time, so I wasn't able to uh, personally come to the games, but uh, rest assured, I was uh, uh, cheering loud and proud, uh, especially uh, during the uh, walk-off home run by Puckett and some of those other magic moments uh, of those events. Uh, but most recently, uh, I think the Twins do such a nice job uh, recognizing organizations and, and, and people, and, and a family is certainly a big big part of our organization and and earlier uh, this year um, the uh, twins recognized uh, some hockey players high school hockey players that were um, recognized as Hobie ba Baker character award winners and I was a proud parent of one of those oh, uh, wonderful um, uh, members so it was uh, really fun to watch that event and to cap that all off it was against a, a very uh, quality uh, Baltimore Oriole team but the twins ended up winning that game and I, I believe there's uh, home run by uh, um, our and Dozier on that game, so it was a very memorable moment. Well, let's get you to more Twins games if you have <laughs> that kind of effect. Colonel Johnson, thank you so much for coming by, and thank you for all that you do and the folks in the 133rd as well. It is much appreciated. Uh, my pleasure.